Good morning. I'm 9 News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Kathy Sabin. I'm here in the 9 News Weather Center and just outside our window I'm looking at all of the clouds coming in. It's not quite as warm or windy in downtown Denver as yesterday and all of these changes part of a weather system approaching Colorado that will bring accumulating mountain snow, cooler weather to Denver and some much needed moisture to the front range. So Let's talk about it. We'll start by going outside and we have a mostly cloudy start to the day. That big bright full moon out there. I don't know if you saw it last night or early this morning, but if the clouds move out enough, you should really check it out again today. It was something else. The full um, October super moon or hunter's moon. So pretty phenomenal. We have mostly cloudy skies looking over the downtown Denver skyline right now. There's a little bit of haze out there, but not bad. I think we'll get some blue sky and a little bit of sunshine as this current cloud bank will shift east, but more clouds coming and the clouds act like a blanket. So we started off relatively mild at 57 degrees this morning. Average high would be about 65 for this time of year. The record today, 86. We're going for high of about 75 today. We're watching the moisture pour in across the western U.S. as the ridge is beginning to shift east in response to that trough. And we're starting to see a little snow. We've had some reports of snow, a little blanket of snow around the Telluride area and that area under a winter storm watch. If you look into Utah, the area in red is the winter storm warning. We also have a winter weather advisory there. So definitely signs that things are changing. Winter storm watch conditions extend from Lake City and Purgatory into Durango, Pagosa Springs, and just to the south of the Walsenburg area. Much of that activity starts um, probably mid afternoon today and will go right through Sunday morning with 10 to 20 inches of snow above 9000 feet. But higher than that, there could be up to 40 inches of snow. So those of you hiking, biking, camping or driving into the high country, do not be caught unaware. The impact of this incoming system would certainly um, affect your travel and you don't want to get caught out in the cold. Comfortable out there right now with partly cloudy skies, 64 degrees in Denver. It's Lyman and Ray and Lamar popped up a bit into the mid 70s. And we've got temperatures in the 30s, 40s and 50s in the mountains. DIA, our official observation site, coming in at 64 degrees. Higher humidity at 33 percent and winds are southwest at 16. That southwest flow will serve to dry out the atmosphere and create elevated fire concerns across North Eastern Colorado today as the ridge shifts and the low sets up over the Four Corners area. Red flag warning criteria will set up across northeastern Colorado, maybe extended into Denver, but we're watching the wind forecast and it seems like the worst of the wind is east of us. Humidity values are going to drop into the teens as we move through the afternoon hours. So from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. tonight, we've got the potential for wind gusts to 40 miles per hour. Humidity values in the mid teens and that red flag warning eastern Adams County, eastern Rapaho County. County and then south to Lyman, north to Fort Morgan and east to Sterling for today. So tinder dry conditions, but look at the changes coming in. We've got a nice band of showers coming into the western slope areas as we move through the day tomorrow. We'll see that moisture increasing in the mountains overnight tonight through the day tomorrow. And then we've got the chance at some scattered showers off and on here in Denver. Snow level stays pretty high above about 8,000 feet. Uh, the snow forecast kind of shows a little bullseye in the Lagarita, the San Juan range near Ophir and also Durango outside of Chama and up towards the watch. These are areas that could see that heavier snowfall for Denver in the next 24 hours. We get the passing clouds. We get some passing light showers. I put an isolated shower in today. I don't know that we're going to get that moisture on the ground with these gusty southwest winds just going to take that moisture right out. But up in the foothills and mountains, it'll be rain and snow mix. And some of you over the course of the next 72 hours could pick up a tenth, a quarter, a half an inch of rain. So wonderful weather pattern shaping up for us. These are looking at your high temperatures for today. Again, keeping in mind the average is 65. We're going for 75 in Denver. Could see some 80s on the map again in eastern Colorado. No one really wants that, but there it is. And that uh, drought is really becoming enhanced across northeastern Colorado into western Nebraska and Kansas, where we're seeing those near record high temperatures today. Lows tonight. 28 Leadville, 38 in Vail, 35 Gunnison, 51 in Denver, 40 in Yuma, and 49 in Lamar. Forecast for today, we've got kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures not as warm as yesterday. We had 82 yesterday. We'll do mid-70s today, but still 10 degrees above average. Maybe a stray shower. I think the higher in elevation you go, the better the chance to see that moisture on the ground. Again, that full supermoon carries into this evening. Beautiful out there. Check out the comet in the west to southwest sky if the clouds move out. 
So today, mild with an isolated shower, 75, cooler with mostly cloudy skies and late day showers at 62, highs in the low 50s for Saturday, rain off and on, moving out Sunday morning. Snow level Saturday morning could go to 8,000 feet. Uh, do not be caught unaware if you're going into the mountains this weekend. Uh, certainly the biggest storm of the season so far and uh, long time since we've seen cold and snow. Back to sunshine and low 70s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Looking live from our uh, front range horse tooth camera, you can see mostly cloudy skies, but if the clouds move out, you may have a shot at seeing the comet tonight. Um, you're going to have difficulty with the cloud cover and just how bright that big, bright full moon is. But look in the southwest sky. It's going to appear high in the sky each night and further away each night. But you know what? You got a chance. So we have a pretty good little storm coming in. And that should bring us uh, really some nice sunrise and sunset pictures. So keep those coming as well as the comet pictures. And we will cover this storm, the timing and the impact, what it means for your day today, your Friday, and your weekend plans. We'll have all that plus the day's news and sports. That's on the networks of Nine News. And we'll have that starting at noon today. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.